मेथड्स ऑफ इंप्रूविंग कम्यूटेशन पार्ट टू सो वी हैव स्टडीड दैट देर आर टू मेथड्स फॉर इंप्रूविंग कम्यूटेशन द फर्स्ट मेथड इज रेजिस्टेंस मेथड एंड द सेकेंड मेथड इज ई एम एफ मेथड नाव इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड रेजिस्टेंस मेथड इन दिस वीडियो we will study emf method so let us now see what is emf commutation now we have seen that the main reason of sparking during commutation is the self induced emf induced in the short circuited coil which is under commutation and this self induced emf is also called as reactance voltage so the sparking during commutation is mainly because of the reactance voltage in emf commutation method an emf is induced in the coil and this emf is opposite to the reactance voltage now the induced emf in the coil under commutation it is called as reversing emf and if this reversing emf is equal and opposite to the reactance emf then the reactance emf can be neutralized then it results in sparkless commutation means we can obtain sparkless commutation if the effect due to reactance emf is neutralized by the reversing emf and for that purpose reversing emf must be equal and opposite to the reactance emf now this reversing emf can be produced by two methods first is brush shifting and second is using interpoles or compoles so first of all we will learn brush shifting method and then we will see interpoles or compoles now brush shifting method now we know that in case of generator whenever the machine is loaded current flows through armature then armature produces its own flux and there is effect of armature flux on main flux and because of which the magnetic neutral axis gets shifted in the direction of rotation if the machine is generator in case of motor the magnetic neutral axis will get shifted in the opposite direction to the direction of rotation now if the brush axis coincides with magnetic neutral axis we can achieve sparkless commutation and therefore the sparkless commutation can be obtained simply by shifting the brushes to the new mna that is magnetic neutral axis so this brush shifting method seems very simple and effective but we cannot use this brush shifting method in practice because of the following reasons first is the shift in mna it is not same for all the load currents so as the load on the machine is increased armature current will also increase and therefore effect of armature reaction will also increase and therefore shifting of mna will change so whenever the load is changed this this shift will change and therefore the angle by which brushes are shifted this should be changed according to change in load which is not possible in practice then second important thing is 
the direction in which this magnetic neutral axis is shifted it depends on the mode of operation of the machine we have seen that same machine can be used as motor or as generator now if the machine is used as motor then the shifting of mna will be in other direction and therefore whenever the mode of machine operation changes then the brush shifting must be completely reversed this is also not possible in practice and as it is very difficult to change the brush position every time with change in load as well as to change the brush time brush position every time whenever the there is change in mode of machine operation and that's why this method is not useful in practice so in practice instead of brush shifting normally we use interpoles or compoles to obtain sparkless commutation now these interpoles are the small poles which are fixed to the yoke and these poles are placed in between the main filled poles so between two main filled poles n and s we have placed two interpoles now the winding on these interpoles you can see that it is connected in series with armature now as the winding is connected in series with armature this interpole winding is carrying the full armature current now as the current in interpole winding is comparatively large the number of turns of interpole winding these are comparatively few turns and as the current is large these turns are made of thick copper wire so as the current in interpole winding is full armature current it is made up of comparatively few turns of thick copper wire now this particular machine here we have shown a generator so in case of generator the winding on interpole is arranged such that the polarity of interpole is same as the next main pole ahead in the direction of rotation so here this pole must be south pole because next pole in the direction of rotation is the next main pole in the direction of rotation is south pole similarly this pole should act as north pole because next pole in the direction of rotation it is the north pole and the machine is working as a generator now let us see how interpoles can neutralize the effect of reactance voltage now here the polarity of interpoles is such that it is same as that of the next main pole ahead now whenever a coil which is undergoing commutation it comes under the interpole and emf will be induced in it now the emf induced by interpoles in the coil it is called as commutating emf or reversing emf this emf is called as reversing emf because it is opposite to the reactance voltage induced in the coil undergoing commutation now as the reversing emf induced by interpoles it is equal and opposite to the reactance voltage it can neutralize the effect of reactance voltage and this results in sparkless commutation 
with the help of interpoles we can obtain sparkless commutation even up to 20 to 30 percent overload and with fixed position of brushes so with the use of interpoles there is no need to shift the brush axis brush position is fixed but because of the reversing emf induced in the coil we can obtain sparkless commutation even if the machine is 20 to 30 percent overloaded that is the advantage of interpoles now the advantage of interpole is for same output a machine with interpole is always smaller and cheaper as compared to the machine without interpole and therefore normally interpoles are provided in dc machines now in case of interpole the interpole winding carries armature current and therefore the commutating or reversing emf is directly proportional to the armature current and therefore it provides automatic neutralization of reactance voltage because the reactance voltage also depends on the armature current so whenever there is change in load armature current will change the reactance voltage will change but at the same time reversing emf due to interpoles it will also change and therefore automatic neutralization of reactance voltage and sparkless commutation can be obtained with the help of interpoles now there is one more function of interpoles and this function is to neutralize the cross magnetizing effect of the armature reaction so we have studied that when current flows through armature because of armature flux there is distortion of main flux so if fm is the main field mmf and fa is the armature field mmf then the resultant mmf we have seen it is distorted because of the presence of armature mmf so here vector fm represents the main poles mmf whereas fa represents the cross magnetizing flux due to armature reaction and fc represents the interpole mmf so this fc it is equal and opposite to fa and fc is represented the magnetomotive force due to these interpoles so if fc is not there and if there is only fm and fa then there will be distortion of main flux but because of fc and as fc is equal and opposite to fa fa and fc will cancel each other and as fc and fa cancel each other then main flux will remain undistorted and this cancellation of fa will be automatic because whenever there is change in fa due to change in armature current there is automatic change in fc because same armature current is flowing through the winding on interpoles and therefore as both fc and fa are produced by armature current the cancellation is automatic for all loads so in this video we have studied emf method for improvement of commutation so there are two methods brush shifting and interpoles however in practice normally we use interpoles in our next video we will study emf equation and some numerical problems on emf equation thank you stay home stay safe